Okay, on this page we have a whole number and an improper fraction, so two and seven fifths. Let's shade and see what that looks like. Two and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of five. So I want to change this now into a mixed number that's going to have a proper fraction. So this is pretty easy to see. Basically we have three holes and two out of five. So we're just gone, we've just basically gone the opposite way. So two and seven fifths is the same as three and two fifths. And again, all we've done is we've looked at that improper fraction and this is seven fifths right now. We've basically just taken a hole out of that. We're taking five fifths out. So when we take that out, we get two fifths. When we take it out, we have to add it back to the number. So that's how we get five fifths plus two is three and two fifths. Okay, so same thing here. Right now we have an improper fraction. How many holes can we take out of 11 ninths? So if I subtract out nine ninths, if I take one hole out, I'm going to have two ninths left because 11 minus nine is two. And I've taken that hole out, so I'm going to give that hole back to the first number here, and I'm going to have 10 and 2 ninths. 10 and 2 ninths is the same as 9 and 11 ninths. All right, last question. Find the missing box to make these mixed numbers equivalent. So you have 5 and 9 fifths, and you're trying to find how that's equivalent to 6 and what over 5. You're going from an improper to a regular fraction.